Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert your 3D connection enterprise from ordinary USB type A plug to USB type C plug. But before I go into details, I want to tell a few words about why am I doing this in the first place. So if you, want on, if you don't want to hear that, you can just skip that part of the video. So, I also own a more portable version of 3D Connection, but I'm really used to have my monster version with me all the time I am uh, present somewhere in a different places. Uh, so um, maybe for that reason I have my old cable malfunction in this uh, place, which is a really typical problem for USB cables. So I had to repair it. Uh, of course, it's uh, not in the warranty anymore, and as soon as you open the case, you probably lose all of your uh, uh, warranties, so just keep that in mind if you will uh, do it. So, uh, I've decided to buy a new cable. I don't need a so long cable as it was here, it's probably 2 meters, so I bought just a uh, 1 meter cable. That's a uh, usual cable you use your uh, iPhone to connect to uh, PC and of course it doesn't come tape it uh, I'll just slowly cut it and tape it to demonstrate you uh, so you see it has a lightning uh, connection for iPhones from one side and USB type A connection from the other side so you can ask me uh, where's type C uh, I've been promised type C and I clicked on the video to see the type C. So here you have it. Uh, I really like the idea of this uh, connector which could be type C and type A simultaneously uh, because I have um, one of my laptops I use. Uh, it has only uh, two type A connections and two type C connections so I would benefit with type C on it. While the older laptop it has just 5 USB Type-A connections, so I wanted to preserve a Type-A option for myself. So I find it to be an ideal um, solution. So the reason is why I'm recording this video is that you can simply take uh, this cable and uh, solder it to um, the board of 3D connection because of this Type-C option it requires. A bit of extra work I will be explaining later. So if you would cut uh, this cable which I've already uh, cut before recording this video, you can see it has five wires here. Uh, not a typical for USB connection which has uh, just four wires usually. So uh, what does this fifth wire do? Uh, it's actually required for you to make our USB type C working properly. So if you just um, check what are these four wires and wire and solder them accordingly uh, to your 3D connection, uh, you will have only type A uh, working. The type C would not work at all. Uh, and in order to make it work, you have to make on um, some sudden changes I will be demonstrating in this video. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to disassemble your 3 d connection. Um, I've already done that, so I'm just uh, show you that you could do this very easily with an ordinary Phillips screwdriver. You have one screw under the pad here, one screw under the pad here. Uh, no screw here, so you don't need to unglue that. Uh, you also have three screws over here under this uh, plastic or paper cover. I don't know how to call it. And three screws under the pads uh, at the bottom of the device. So as soon as you just unscrew this, uh, you can pretty easily disassemble it. Um, no plastic clips or some sort of that. You just have uh, a socket uh, here and it goes like that and snaps into place. So I've already cut the wire and the first thing which uh, you may find unusual here 
uh, you have five wires, not four, as you would expect from USB type A. And uh, the reason for that is that they actually use not only the um, plus and minus uh, voltage and plus and minus data connection which you find inside the USB cable, but they've also connected to the outside, to the ground. So it means that uh, the ground uh, contact from your laptop or computer, whatever you use, would come to uh, the ground here and you see they have a spring possibly to transfer this ground to these plates and I'm not really sure it will work properly uh, or it will eventually die out of some static charges due to this disconnection of the ground but unfortunately I don't have a USB cable with uh, the ground wire included so I would just skip that and use uh, four of these wires originally there were five and i'll just use four as an ordinary uh, usb connector and they also have a high frequency uh, filter uh, here and i would also use it as well on my new wiring and probably that's all you need to know about uh, 3D connection itself. You just take your tester and test which wires uh, from USB come here. And then you're good to go. Uh, the next step is we need to lock on the cable. And the cable is more interesting. So here we have a cable, I already got it here, and not only here, but also at um, this place. Let me untape it. So this is how it looks when I got it down. Uh, I firstly, I uh, got it here because I wanted to preserve the connection between uh, the cable and the sleeve, so I hope that it will work together well. Uh, but I found that there is no option for me, so I had to cut a cable here. And I would actually recommend you, if in a similar situation, to start cutting somewhere here to expose the wires from one side and from the other side to uh, make it more easy for you to test. Whereas the fifth wire, you have to because uh, you have to find it. Uh, so yeah, it's quite uh, easy probably to test out which of the contacts you have inside this ordinary uh, USB type A cable, um, which uh, contacts do they correspond to here. Uh, but you would not sense this fifth uh, wire with uh, trying to uh, you, you wouldn't find it on these pins, on these four pins here. Uh, and actually this fifth wire uh, serves to tell the system is your device host or a sub-device. Uh, I will put a link into the video description for a nice video made by DIY Perks. He explained this also in his uh, videos and there is actually a 5.1 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, connecting this uh, yellow wire uh, to the ground and this tells the system that this is a sub-device and the laptop would have to power up this device, not vice versa. Uh, and it happens that uh, since this is the lightning connection, it always requires a small board. You can see the board here. Uh, and this 5.1 kilo ohm resistor, it actually sits on this board uh, and you have to um, dismantle it somehow and uh, chop out, out the resistor and solder it between the yellow wire and the ground wire uh, to make your device work. So that's actually the trick uh, to make it work in Type-C mode. Uh, that's why I say that uh, you should probably cut your uh, cable on a distance uh, to make it more easy for you to sense it because I had to uh, use, you know, this 
um, over limited access uh, points to uh, sense uh, where uh, should I put uh, this resistor in my uh, sedation. So I salvage the circuit and you can actually see that some chips they were um, they remained in this rubber compound so I've stripped the board from chips in this way and um, there is still 5.1 kilo ohms between this contact and this contact this is the ground uh, so my task now is to find where is the uh, resistor on this board so I want just to trace the connections and find uh, maybe uh, it's on the other side uh, maybe on some this side so I would find the resistor which I need to unsolder and uh, use it and my new device so uh, what I found here is that this uh, ground wire uh, goes to this point on the board and this yellow wire this part goes to uh, this point on the board hard to carry and film so I'm actually in need of this small tiny guy on the corner of the board this is the resistor I need because you can just grab some 5.1 kilo ohm resistor which you have in place uh, so you don't need to unsolder this tiny guy uh, but if you don't have a spare resistor of the proper uh, rating, you just uh, use this one from the board. So after unsoldering, uh, you should actually confirm that this piece of dust is actually the resistor you need, 5.1 kilo ohm resistor. So after a number of trials, uh, I've abandoned an idea to use the resistor from the board and by number I mean a lot. Uh, for some reason uh, I believe my uh, soldering equipment is simply not good enough to um, make a stable connection with resistor. So I happen to have a 5 kilo ohm resistor uh, which you can see here and uh, it served its purpose well and allowed me to make this uh, connection even taking into account that uh, it doesn't look so good but you can see here a uh, yellow wire connected to resistor and back to um, the ground wire uh, which is in turn connected to the black wire uh, from um, this connector and I'll also uh, included the uh, high frequency filter here um, it was installed in it uh, and the original USB cable and as I've told I'm not using the uh, black cable which was connected to the ground of USB A uh, block so here it is uh, now it's time to isolate all of the wiring properly and assemble the device and check does it work so here we are the moment of truth um, the first one is I connect USB type A cable and it works uh, but the most interesting one is to use the USB type C cable so I'm changing to type C plug I connect it and voila it works so resistor worked it was 1 kilo ohm not uh, sorry 5 kilo ohm not 5.1 kilo ohm uh, and it worked perfectly uh, the only difference from the original uh, 3d connection enterprise is that uh, it no longer uh, connects the internal ground to the ground the outer shell of USB plugs so you might probably have some issues with your device later but 
Uh, as for now, it's working. I have approximately one meter slightly shorter of course cable, which I'm absolutely fine with. And I have a universal device which could be used either with USB type C or USB type A plex as I wish. Uh, thank you for watching these and have a good time.